night through the 29th. And why do I say look now? Well, the peak may have some trouble. We'll actually may have some trouble seeing it because the peak of the shower is early the 22nd, right? Look to the northeast sky, but a bright full moon may make viewing difficult. Not even going to talk about the cloud coverage possible for the 22nd. All right, a live look now from the airport sky cam. Clear skies out there. Pilots call that a severe clear. We've got high pressure and control, and it will be in control throughout the work week. This storm system is large and expansive, and we've got tornado watches from Nebraska into Oklahoma with some winter weather warnings west of that. And we are dry across the coastal empire and low country. Just some ground clutter, the heat of the day escaping into the atmosphere on our fair and fair first alert live radar. We start the day on the coolest note that we will through the seven day. So enjoy the 50s, 57 Statesboro, Sylvania, 56 Baxley, Jessup, 59 Savannah, 62 Hilton Head and Tybee. Look at how we warm rapidly, nearly 70 degrees at 9, nearly 80 at 11, and into the mid to upper 80s we go. A good 10 degrees above average for some locations, still 80 at 7 o'clock as we approach sunset. So Rinkin, you make it up to 87, Statesboro 87 as well, Bluffs and Richmond Hill, Jessup 88, a brief stint of some cloud coverage and then clearing. So we start the day with sunshine, some clouds increase, and then we'll see more sunshine as we head towards sunset. Tybee Hilton Head, you make it into the 80s as well. Rip current risk is low. Water temperature warming, 66 Tybee, 67 Hilton Head, a southwest wind at 5 to 10. The pollen forecast, we're looking into the medium high and then surging Wednesday, Thursday, and still medium high Friday. So take care out there. Your first alert forecast, we will warm into the upper 80s by Thursday and Friday, approaching 90 on Friday, a 10% chance of a shower. I think that's going to be well west of I-95 as we're watching our next cold front. Not that system that's causing all that havoc to the west of us, but another cold front making its way through. The bulk of the rain looks like it's going to be Sunday night into Monday. I've actually dropped the rain chances for Monday from 60 to 50, but the significant note of that is that we go from the upper 80s to the low 70s for highs. Up